Hello and blessings beautiful souls, Avalon here and today I have oh, the tastiest unboxing. First of all, when the lovely creator of this deck reached out to me to do this unboxing for her and for her deck of course, I had never heard of it. But then I went and looked it up and I was like touched to the heart. I was so blown away and you will soon see why. This tech is called the Beautiful Rebellion Tarot. There is only 300 copies of this deck. The creator's name is Robin and the deck itself is inspired by art or created using art from the 18 and 1900s. So there's a romanticism feel here, there's a pre-Raphaelite feel to the artwork as well and I am the type of individual who has always really resonated with John William Waterhouse and he is one of the artists featured within this deck. The artwork is uh, curated images from original artworks of these wonderful, wonderful artists that have literally enchanted the pants off me. This deck came in a brown paper box and it was stuffed with crinkle papered padding similar to what you have seen in the moon box and it came like this and I think that it is so beautiful it's a beautiful little stamp here and I, uh, I have the delight of unboxing it now I have taken to biting my fingernails again folks and so I have absolutely no chance I don't want to damage the box either, so I might have to cut this string. And my trusty scissors. <gasps> there we go. And we're in. And we're in. So a little close up. And there we go. Brown tissue paper. I love the natural feel of the packaging. Everything. <gasps> oh, look at this box. Look at this gorgeous box. Oh my goodness. Look at it. It is just stunning. Oh, look at it. It is beautiful. Oh, I'm so taken. It's a little rose. If you can see up close, it's a little rose just there. And it's an organza ribbon. This is the look of the inside. So the cards themselves are shrink wrapped. There looks like there's a little baggie and there looks like there's a little book. So let's start at the top. So we have here the beautiful Rebellion Tarot uh, to download your free PDF guidebook. Okay, so there is a subsequent guidebook here. Um, so that is beautiful. And the Beautiful Rebellion Tarot Keyword Cheat Sheet by Robin Cole. And so that is the name of the creator. Isn't that just beautiful? This reminds me of the curtains that I have up here in my sacred space. And so let's have a really big look. at. Oh, I love the way that that's been done. There we go. Blank back. I don't even know how to get it back to the way that it was. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> we are going to have to puzzle solve that. Oh, okay, okay, yep. There we go. Wasn't as difficult as I thought. I'm really taken by this beautiful box. <gasps> oh, this is nice. Oh, just this box is just everything. This is a very sturdy. I, oh, that's very that's very thick. I feel like some of the sort of organza silk bags that I have are nowhere near as sturdy as this. This would this would really guard your deck. Okay. So let's have a look. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. I don't think that Robin actually knew how excited I actually was about this deck. And it's been ages since she contacted me. It only arrived today. I'm unboxing it as it arrived. And I Googled it once again before I unboxed it. And I was just as in, oh my God, stop it. 
just stop it. Just stop it with your awesomeness. Okay, let's see how we go. I'm going to make some space here because I have been in a writing frenzy, folks. A writing frenzy, let me tell you. And so I have so much stuff in front of me right now. Books to this side. Books all over the floor. You have no idea how many books I've got on the floor. Reference material. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's start with the fool. The Magician, quite a famous image. The High Priestess. So this is, I want to say this is like 350, around 320, 350. I'm sure I could get the details and I might just look at the specs for the deck. It is standard size, I wanna say. I've got the Wild Unknown here, the original Wild Unknown. And it is a fraction, just a touch smaller, but pretty much similar side. It has rounded edges. It's a semi-gloss. It's got that linen finish, um, similar type of finish to the Pagan Otherworlds. That's the Empress. Oh, just enchanted. Here's the Emperor. The Hierophant. The lovers. The chariot. Strength. The hermit. The wheel of fortune. Oh gosh, tasty, tasty. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. The Devil. This is Lilith. Interesting as in my, my Bone, Stone and Earth Flesh uh, tarot deck, Lilith is actually the page of pentacles the tower and then the star the moon oh gosh it's, sort of like, it's, it's one of those ex feelings where your heart opens you can't help but truly respond to this artwork. It was of a time where magicians wielded the paintbrush, folks. Judgment. And then the world. So that was the full mages. I tend to like to show the full mages and then I will go through and pick out the highlights or the I can't see I think that yeah, they're all gonna be highlights aren't they I'll definitely show you all the aces I'll definitely show you all the eights and probably the Queens the ace of cups it's got a Hansel and Gretel feel the three of cups it's always a favorite of many Five of Cups. That's a good five. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Oh, I love that. Eight of Cups. It's an interesting choice for the eight. Ten of Cups. The Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. Pandora's box kind of feel to it. Here's the Two of Pentacles. Very earthy, very beautiful. Excellent choice. 
Four of Pentacles is just so beautiful. Five of Pentacles, stunning, stunning, stunning. The Eight of Pentacles. The Weaver, the Seamstress. Here's the Ten of Pentacles. Here's the Knight. Stunning. Here's the Queen. And the King of Pentacles. Oh. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Well done, Robin. Ace of Swords. Here's the Three of Swords. Six of Swords. Oh, the Seven of Swords. It's a good one. Sneaky, sneaky. I love that. I love that a lot. The Eight. It's got that encumbered feel to it, so I like that. The nine, the ten, yes, yes, um. oh, the page of swords, look at that owl, beautiful, let's have a look at this knight, the queen. <laughs> Voluptuous, the King of Swords. Ooh, yes, um, that looks like a Tudor period. My friend Shannon, <laughs> she would know that one. Ace of Wands, stunning, very vibrant. Let's have a look at the Two of Wands, the hatching of a plan co-creation, individuation even, the three of wands, establishment, let's have a look at the four, the four of wands, that's stunning, has that rite of passage, that salubrious traditional aspect, let's look at the five of wands, the five of wands is my favourite five, <laughs> I like I did a friendly competition. Six of Wands. Eight. Action. I like that. Valiant action at that. Is the Ten of Wands carrying the branches on her back? The Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Now I felt a lot of feminine energy in this deck. The kings and the knights were all depicted as feminine in their own way. There were depictions of knights, as we can see. The placement of the writing was sometimes at the top and sometimes at the bottom. And that's usually because of the layout of the card itself. I don't believe that it changed at all, like the colour. The writing is very bold. And so that's something to take into consideration. It's easily seen. It's printed in not white, it's kind of like a yellow. A canary yellow, very light lemon, perhaps. Oh, here's the backing, of course. I don't think I've shown you the backing yet. That's the backing. So it's a very, it's kind of like it's got that material feel, kind of like a bit of a brocade effect, but very, very beautiful. 
Let's let's have a. Ooh, it's nice. It's nice to shuffle for you, all you riffle shuffles out there. Riffle shufflers out there. That's what I meant to say. You are going to have quite a bit of fun. A shuffling this deck. And I'm just so enchanted. Let's see which one jumps out. Let's see what our very first draw will be. I feel inclined. It was the full moon in Scorpio yesterday. Hold on, I'm just going to adjust my decks. It was the full moon in Scorpio yesterday. I did the simplest of all rituals yesterday as I was so, so tired. Cut that one, but flying across the floor. The star! What a beautiful first draw. So we know in order to elevate our heart and truly open it, we must first have hope. Hope and trust in the process. Trust in the sense that we have done enough. Trust in the sense that what will be, will be. And what will be is what is destined for us. This is not to say that you have no control over a situation. It is simply to say that when we apply the very best of what we are and what we have to give, then the only return can be that of that positive destined return. And it is such a beautiful card to welcome in that sense of hope, that illumination, that gladdening of the heart that lifting of burden and that positive outlook. There's a level of gratitude for the star as well. When we receive this element of divine guidance, when we receive these subtle confirmations that what will be will be and that what we are aiming to achieve or what we wish for is on its way, then, you know, it's, it's an act of pure magic. And we need to be grateful for that. We really do. We need to. More gratitude, more hope, more kindness, more love, more open hearts. That is exactly what we need in this world. And each and every time that you choose that hopeful rhythm, each and every time that you choose to just jump in and dance to that hopeful rhythm, then you will find that your day, your day after day after day, is so much more positive. Hmm, what a beautiful deck. I am so excited. I do believe that this deck will be coming with me on my grand adventure. I feel so, I feel so taken by it. Just look at it. It is just a stunning beauty. It's not every day that you have a collection of brilliant artists slash magicians slash poets slash alchemists in your hot little hand and that's one of the beautiful things about tarot is that they are individual works of art uh, these beautiful creators they weave together art that means something to them and then we get to hold it we get to shuffle it we get to critique it we get to utilize it we get to be moved by it we get to divine with it and it's such a beautiful thing when working with tarot you are working with art and it is the art of tarot because there is so much art to tarot not just the art itself that is depicted in each of the cards but the techniques that are used to work with the cards effectively that is a work of art that's a form of art seeing a reader work at interpreting the cards is is one of the most beautiful things that can be seen and it is it's just art. It's beautiful, meaningful, sacred art. And so to have a deck like this, that is beautiful and meaningful, sacred art. Oh, I feel complete. I feel complete. Robin, you have done an incredible job on this deck. I think this is stunning. I think this is stunning. And if you are a bit of a art buff, then I'm sure that you will love this deck just as much as I am <laughs> loving it. I'm going to make some space for it next to my sun and moon and see how we get along in the long term. So, there you have it, beautiful souls. That is the beautiful Rebellion Tarot by Robin L. Cole. So here we have it, the beautiful Rebellion Tarot. 
all the artists are depicted in the back. You have it comes with a cheat sheet, a downloadable guidebook, a beautiful box, folks. A beautiful box. You don't even have to break the seal on it or cut the ribbon because it opens from the top or from the bottom and it comes with this beautiful baggie that will be going into it now it will be going into it now right there you have it i will leave all the links to this beautiful deck in the description box below this deck is available on etsy and i just love being able to give a shout out to some of these etsy artists and um and bring a little light to, to their creations because there's some pretty incredible decks being created on Etsy, mine included. And I'm just really stoked that I get the opportunity to unbox these beauties and that people even think of me to help them, you know, shed a little light on their creative process to bring it into light because a lot of these creators don't pay for advertisement and that's a nice thing. That's that's actually a really nice thing. I myself have not paid a cent for advertisement for the Bone Stone and I'm pretty proud of myself and um, I just really I just really want people to be drawn to it through its natural magic and I'm sure these artists want exactly the same thing. These creators, they want the same thing and how could you not be drawn to something this beautiful? Stunning. All right, beautiful souls. Well, thanks for hanging out with me for this really just oh, yummy unboxing. I'm, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is actually an early birthday present. Today's the 1st of May, just so you know. It arrived today. Today is the 1st of May. It is now seven days until my birthday. So this is technically an early birthday present for moi. I'm so excited. So thank you, folks. And I'm just wishing you so much love, luck, peace, and joy. Please look after yourselves, be kind, and immerse yourselves in magic and wonderful, beautiful cards. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. See ya.